Welcome on back to another edition of Central Oregon Fishing Report. Today we're at Prineville Reservoir. Uh, Prineville Reservoir has uh, got a maximum depth of 130 feet. Uh, the storage covers over 150,000 acres. It's home to some cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, some catfish, some crappie, and even some crayfish. And the uh, trout fishing is year-round, and in the wintertime you can even ice fishing. We do our fair share of getting some big rainbows out of it. So what you're going to do is from Bend, you're going to head on east down Highway 20. You're going to take the uh, Alfalfa Junction. About a quarter mile of the way down, you're going to take a right down uh, Alfalfa Market Road. You're going to continue on down Alfalfa Market Road for uh, about 20 miles or so through Alfalfa. You're going to come to a four-way stop. This is at South Millican Road. Uh, it will be a four-way stop. And from this point, you continue straight. The road then becomes South Reservoir Road. You're going to follow that out for about another nine miles. You're going to hit the uh, Highway 27. You're going to take a left. And that's going to take you down to the Powder House Cove. And the reservoir is going to be off on your right. Today we're out here in uh, the middle of November, we're going to try to catch some trout. Now these trout are in their spawn, um, so we want to be looking for some gravelly area mixed in throughout the larger rocks. That's going to find us the trout, and they're only just going to be a good 10 feet or so right off the bank for us. Hi, I'm Josh with Central Oregon Fishing Report, and uh, we're out at Prineville Reservoir. Show you how uh, we're going to rig out for here. Um, right now the trout are spawning, um, so we're going to want to be pretty close to the bottom, but still suspended off of it. We're going to take one, one and sixteenth ounce weight, probably about two feet, two and a half feet up, to a size six hook. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a night crawler, and we're going to be very careful about only putting the crawler, the hook through the crawler up in the top of the head as to not compromise the bottom of the body. Then we're going to take and, uh, go a very, very small, small needle so that the air can't back out. And we're going to fill him up with air. And it's absolutely essential that he floats. So the worm kind of requires for you to fill up kind of compartments. You don't just shove it in there and just start filling with air. I find it easiest to fill from the back to the front. Once you feel like you have enough air in this guy, you're going to want to take him down to the water and you're going to want to make sure that he is floating. The difference between this worm floating off of the bottom and not floating off the bottom here is going to be a big, big difference. Floating perfect. And then when we cast this out here, we're only going to go.
As always guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button.